Hmm. Alright, Aki, I'm about to get going. <clears throat> so it's always important to get that bush to me. Let's start this off. All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing his word. And all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Let's get into something real quick. 2020, 2024, an amplified year, man. Shit's already kicking off, man. This, is, this shit is already sparking off. The Lord is turning up, man. Let's get into these scriptures here real quick. The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, man. Things gonna be on an amplified level, man. The Lord is turning spirits up. Turning shit up. Yeah, that's another thing too. Let's go into something real quick. I wonder, uh... Let's go into something real quick, man. Because all these other nations out here, they got their land. They got their heritage. They got their language, you know? You Israelites, you, 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 you stuck on dumb, all right? You don't got nothing. But here it is, you loving up, loving up the so-called white man's land instead of wishing for your own, okay? Which is actually this whole world is ours, okay? This don't belong to these heathens out here. We belong to Yahweh, Wah Yahweh Shai. And guess what? These heathens belong on to us, man. They're supposed to be our servants, our slaves. Okay? But right now, we have no possession with the world. As it tells you in uh, Second Ezra. Okay? As a matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Second Ezra chapter 6. We don't own nothing out here, man. You know, you got you silly ass two thirds running around wanting a part of this man's system. When really, what's 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 uh, what's next up for us is better. Okay, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. Okay, let me get this real quick. Um, We're going to go into Second Ezra chapter six. We're gonna go into Second Ezra chapter six real quick here. Let me get some. Let me get some right here. Second Ezra chapter six and verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob. Is the beginning that followeth, right? Because right now we know that Job 9:24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, and who's the wicked? Esau, okay, the so-called white man. And like Apostle Elder Tahar was saying yesterday, you know, you got, uh, you have some chocolate Edomites, okay? Who we're against? Ultimately, we're against Esau Edom. We don't get too caught up in the color scheme. 
Because we know that the spirit is what, the spirit in man is what it is, man. Okay? We're not too caught up in this color, color, color scheme thing. Because we know that the father is who carries on the uh, genetics. The father is who passes on the line. Okay? It's not the mother like how these uh, false you hats over there, 1948ers would tell you, oh, through the mother, through the mother. They came up with that in like, I think it was 32, 1932, they were scrambling to try and uh, put together what is a small hat, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, the line goes through the father, right? And a lot of these individuals out here, they don't realize, like, our seed is scattered. The Lord said that he's going to scatter us through all these nations in Deuteronomy. It was like he's going to scatter us through all these nations, okay? And in all these nations, we're going to be. So what? In all these nations, we're just going to uh, somehow pop up, regenerate, and just be uh, uh, the typical looking Israelite? No. You're going to have the fathers going on to these other women. They may look like Edom. They may look like uh, Ishmael. They may look like Elam. Because you know how Jake get down. Jake, Jake, Jake love putting in some work <laughs> on the lower level. You know what I'm saying? Jake got that energy, okay? More so than these other nations, too. Because that's why they, 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 they say about us, uh, they're like roaches, you know? That's what they say about uh, Israelites. Hold up a second. Yep, it's rolling. They say we're like roaches, you know, they multiply quickly. <laughs> but um, yeah, in these other nations, you have our seeds scattered. So it's preposterous to think that all of us just look the same. We don't look, look the same, man. We're scattered all over the different parts of the world. So you're gonna have some of us that's gonna look like Elam, some of us that's gonna look like uh, Edom, some of us that's gonna look like Ishmael, Moab, Ammon, you know what I mean? Ha Hamites, whatever. So that's why Yahweh Shai and Matthew, actually, let me get that real quick. In Matthew chapter 10, let's see what Yahweh Shai said to do. See, there's no contradiction with the scriptures, man. It's just these people haven't learned right. Scripture is clearly telling you in Matthew 13, starting from the 9th verse to 11, that it was only for us to know these secrets, these parables, okay? Not for the rest of the world to know them, all right? Because the rest of the world, what do they do? They walk on by it. They go like, go in the scriptures, they just read it, blah, 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 blah. And then they stand up there and they try to make a doctrine out of what they read, or, you know, them going to those theologian schools, they make certain things into a doctrine, right? And they speak it with no understanding. They have no understanding of what they're speaking, okay? That's why those parables were given on to us. That's why Yahweh Shai spoke in, in thus fashion that he spoke. He didn't speak it plainly for everybody else to understand it. The only ones who are gonna plainly understand it, like in Syrac says, the ones who have the understanding, okay? It is plain unto him who have the understanding. It is plain unto him who have the fear of the Lord. These people out here don't have the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So going back into this, Matthew chapter 6, or Matthew chapter 10 and verse 6, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, okay? So you got lost sheep scattered amongst the world here, all over the world, right? And like we said, we're against, we're against Edom, all right? Yeah, we know the so-called white men, mass majority of them is Edomites, right? But you gotta identify, get the, uh, get that marking, the identification to let people know. Some people stand up here with their idiocy and, oh, you guys are this and that, and that, that, that. Yeah, shut the hell up, man. We give you thorough, we give you thorough education, okay? Whether you can receive it or not, we give you thorough education when it comes to the scriptures. So going back into this. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning that followeth. So after this world falls here, our beginning is next. That's why in uh, Ecclesiastes it tells you 
better is the uh, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. The end of this man's system is the beginning of our uh, of our of us, okay, of our of our uh, rulership. All right. So going back into this, this is why you two third jigs should just chill the fuck out because actually you should be listening to the word, man. You've been given a better promise, a better world. This is why we always tell you flee the shadow of this world, man. Because there's nothing in this world to be offered that can supersede your how about Shimmy Shai's world, man. You crazy? That's why we always tell you guys, flee the shadow of this world, man. It's, it's not worth it, all right? Let me get it real quick. It says right here, 2 Ezra, chapter 2 and verse 36. Through the shadow of this world, receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly, and that's what we're doing out here on the highways and byways, so these people can see us, okay? Not just, uh, not just, um, you know, we're out here like some kind of, uh, you know, we just want to be seen of men. No, we're doing this in the open. We're clearing our Lord openly, okay? Not under some shadow, under some rock. So the lost sheep can see us, okay? So people could come up and ask those questions. This is that first Peter 3 and 15. And, and second and second uh what's that? Second Timothy, if I'm not mistaken, 2 and 15. Study to show thyself a proof. Okay. Our heads stay in these books, man. The Lord has given us that wisdom. By his spirit, he opened up this to us, man. Second Corinthians tells you that. I mean. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 2nd chapter, okay, it tells you that, verse 10, that by, by His Spirit, He revealed them unto us, man. Not that this was something that we went to theologian school or that dead cemetery school where they give you, you know, the precept packages. The Spirit is, hey, Matthew chapter 10 and 20 is the Spirit that gives us what to speak in the hour, same minute, whatever, right? Because the Spirit is working with us. We didn't go study at some um, cemetery school and all that bullshit. That's why we know through the Spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, what's coming up next for us is going to be better than this world here, man. This world is trash. Okay? This is why going back into 2 Ezra, it tells you flee the shadow of this damn world, man. This world has nothing, nothing, nothing to compare to the next world to come which is our world. This world here is counted as, 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 as mush, sand, dust, comparison to our world. Not even, man. Because in our kingdom, in our world, with Yahweh, Wah, Yahweh, Shai ruling, everything is going to be just. Everything is going to be set back into order, man. Right now, everything is out of fucking order. Everything is in chaos. So for you jakes, you two-third jakes, that want to hold on to this world and latch on to this world. Man, your mind is retrobate. You're void of understanding. Okay? You're a retrobate nigga. Okay? <laughs> Niggas and niggalettes. Alright? You, you fucking GMO zombie babies. Fat Albert and, and Big Shirley's babies, man. You're in a lost state. Okay? You're retrobate. You're, you're void of understanding. Okay? The Lord, just like Eve was deprived of wisdom and understanding, so you two-thirds are deprived of wisdom and understanding, man. You have not, okay? So y'all trying to hold on to this world, like Esau, Edom, Psalms 49 and 11, you know, that's a vain thing. That's stupidness. Look how much more eternal glory is waiting for you on the other side. Then you taking part in this bullshit right here, man. This shit is temporal. It tells you that in our uh, second Corinthians, man. This is a temporal world, man. I don't know why you people want to hold on to this bullshit. Because this shit ain't... 
Look, the shit is about to kick off, man. And you guys don't see. You're blind as a bat, man. You wanna hold on to this fucking shit for me, man. This world is garbage, man. Let me get something real quick. Let me get something real quick. Second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 17. For our light affliction, which is now, because we're being afflicted, we're going through hell. This is why two-thirds Jakes would rather sell out and go for uh oh what did Moses say? Hold on, let me get something real quick. Our affliction is light and yet for a moment, man. What did Moses say? Let me get that real quick. Let's, let's see what Moses said about, about uh, a situation like that. Ooh. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse uh, 23, no, 24. By faith, Moses, when he was come to age, to years, refused to be called Pharaoh's son. Refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, Salakia, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. So that's the, the, the mentality that we're coming in. We're like, fuck this shit, man. We're, we're rather to choose to suffer with the rest of Akim, with our true neighbors, okay, in this truth, than to fucking enjoy a, a, a season of pleasure, which this shit is gonna be destroyed, okay? And going back into Corinthians, it tells us that our affliction is yet for a, a, a moment, man. Okay? So what the fuck? What's wrong with you, Jakes, man? Here it is, we're telling you that this is all an illusion. This is all going to fail. It's all going to come to an end. Okay? But yeah, you're saying, well, can I have my consolation in this world? Well, fine. You get your consolation in this world. And it's perdition. It's destruction. It's not good for you, man. Here it is, we're trying to give you the warning. Pull yourself away from this bitch. Because this bitch is not, it's not for you, man. It's not, it, it, it was set up as a trap for you. A sneer. But then Jake's saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, man? Just give me that pork, man. Fuck this shit. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a do this all the way up to the end. What's the sense anyways? We all gonna be good. And that's, that's why the Lord gave us the spirit. And gave them the spirit to be two-thirds, man. Because when you have the spirit to do this work, it doesn't matter. You're going to do this work. If you try to be like Jonah, try to flee, run, the Lord will put it in your mind, okay? The Lord, because, hey, when brothers don't do a video in a day or two, they feel guilty, okay? What is that guilt? Remembering that the Lord chose us to do this work. Remembering that the Lord has given us forgiveness, man, okay? Giving us a, 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 a mercy by showing us grace, to his son, okay? So all those things come upon our mind heavily. And we start to tear up inside and we start to say, hey, man, you know, like Jeremiah said, it was like a fire in his belly. We gotta do the work. Even me, I've been feeling down, ill. You know what I mean? I haven't been out here in a, uh, not last week, the week before, at the beginning of, um, uh, what do you call it? The beginning, the 30th, somewhere around there, okay? Like, I was supposed to come out and come to camp, but, hey, felt ill under the weather, you know what I mean? Every time I want to come out, it's raining, you know what I mean? And I don't have a, a you know, a cameraman, somebody standing behind the camera, you know? And then on top of that, it's wet, it's cold, so it, it, it's, it's a, a hard thing for a one-man battle, one-man band to uh, handle, you know? And at the same time, you're battling uh, uh, all types of illnesses, but it is no excuse, man. We feel compelled inside. Hey, we got to do this work. We made a vow, we got to do this work. And we move with fear, okay? We don't just stand around like, like dudes, you know, when you see them in the factory working and they're tired, they sneak off, they go around the corner, they dick around, you know what I mean? They're fucking around, pretending to look at a, 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 a worksheet. They're not even looking at no worksheet, you know? 
So on camera, it looks like they're doing work, but really they're just walking around pretending to do work and they ain't doing nothing. That's why the Lord put out here workers. He didn't put out here men to fucking just stand around, dick around with your hands in your pocket, okay? You gotta know these scriptures. You gotta be able to break down these scriptures, okay? You gotta have the spirit of the Lord within you to break down these scriptures, to have that understanding, to know what's up. Spiritual weathermen. What do the scriptures call us? I don't even want to say it before I get it. Let me get it first, man. This is what the scriptures call us, man. Okay? 1 Samuel chapter 9 and verse 9. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, Yahweh Bashim Shai, right? Thus he spake, Come and let us go. Come, let us go to the seer, okay? For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer, okay? And that's basically a prophet, a seer, a spiritual weatherman, man. You're supposed to be able to see these visions, a visionary, to be able to see off afar far in the future. And how we do that? With the scriptures, with the warning, okay? With those things we're written, uh, let me get that real quick, Romans. 15 and 4. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So all those things were written aforetime for our learning. So we don't fall into those gaps. You know what I mean? Where we end up like those two-third bug out ass niggas, okay? You hear the prophets, prophets are giving you warning, right? The seers. That's why when we go into these scriptures right here, we look back and we see, hey, look, the seers were giving them warning. The prophets are giving them warning about things. Jeremiah chapter 28 and 8, right? The prophets did what? Prophesy against many kingdoms, right? Many kings of, uh, uh, of war, rumor and war, them being taken down, whatnot. Okay? That's the prophet's job. So us as prophets, as seers, as spiritual weathermen, we see these things. We open up this book and the Lord gives us that access. And we see these things coming on earth. We see these things coming. So what are we supposed to do? Go run off in the corner like the dude in the factory, the lazy man in the factory that don't give a fuck and just, you know, turn his back and run away? Make it look like he's doing work on camera? But really, he ain't doing shit. That's why a lot of these Israelite camps are equated as too. They do a whole bunch, but they ain't really doing shit. Because if the boss was really on the floor, you would tell. You'd be like, yo, man, you ain't doing nothing. Give me that paper right there. What the fuck is this? This is from uh, like two days ago. What you doing? You know? And that's what's exactly what's happening here with these people right now, man. You know? They ain't doing shit, man. They ain't doing nothing right, bro. Okay? And we're telling them that and we're showing them through the scriptures. Because we're the seers. We're the spiritual weathermen. We're telling you what's up. We're telling you how to change and reverse your ways. To come back and serve your how about Shem Okay? So going back into this, let's get into... Let's get into this real quick. Um, 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And verse 17, for our light affliction. So what we're going through right now is light. Shalom, Rock. Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. How you doing? Yes, you all right? Everything good? Yeah, I'm just tired right now. You know? Everybody, bro. Everybody right now, man. We're all feeling it, you know? But yeah, hold your head up, man. You don't know already. For our, for our affliction. Huh? Yeah, it's a YouTube thing. What's up? Oh, uh, hold on, man.
That's our job. Our job is to be out here, and you know, that's why I kind of feel, you know, sorrowful and kind of like tear up in a bit because we're supposed to be out here, man. I know this word, okay? The rest of these people out here, they don't have what we have, man. And what we have is very precious. So, me being sick for the last couple of weeks, even, you know, it's something that I can't stop, but you know, it's just, hey. That's what it is, man. The Lord gave us the spirit. He gave us the spirit to understand these things. And it's only for us to feel like that. You know what I'm saying? It's only like for us to feel like that, to feel sorrowful. Because when the man came up, previously what I said before, I wasn't out here on the streets to give this word, which this is my post, this is my job, this is the altar of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, right? So obviously I'm gonna feel sorrowful. Cause this is my job. I'm supposed to be out here. So hey, Tawadi Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. You know, this is our job, man. We're supposed to be out here giving that uh, edification onto the people, warning them before the great and dreadful day, man. You know, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's return. So going back into this, it tells us that our affliction is it, 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 for our affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh. For us, a far more exceedingly and eternal weight of glory. For while we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen, but the things which are seen are temporal. So you understand that? So the kingdom to come, yeah, you don't see it, right? Those are the things that we're looking for that are not seen as yet. But we see them clear as day. Okay? Sorry, it's locked here, tear it up a little bit, but we see it as clear as day. Because Yahweh Shim Yahshai gave us that spirit, man. He didn't give the rest of these people that spirit in the world. They don't know nothing. They're dead from the neck up. Okay? All they know is, is, is eat food, wake up, and shit. Take a shower if some of them take a shower. Right? That's all they know. All they know is the things of the world. We're going to get into that real quick, Lord willing, um, also too. Yeah, well, you got, that coincides with it perfectly, okay? 1 Corinthians, actually, let me just um, finish out here. Verse 18, um, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18 for while uh, well, slack here, while we look not at the things which are seen which cars the women what the hell is this nigga doing cars the women you know the money the jewelries all of this stuff all these uh, uh, distractions of the world okay because that's all that is all that's temporal when you die you don't get to keep it it goes away it goes to another hand. It goes to somebody else. Unless you burn it and throw it in your grave with you. Or you burn it and make it ashes with you. Okay? But nothing in this world passes over to the next life when you pass. So all this action that you're committing, or trying to commit these evil acts to try and be up there, okay, in this world, doesn't make sense. You might as well stop it. Okay? Because it's all temporal. All right. So going back in this, but at the things which are not seen, which is the kingdom of heaven, which it starts with us. Okay, the kingdom of heaven is within you, right? But on top of that, you don't see, um, you know, the streets paved with gold. When you look around, you see the shitty ass place. You don't see the heathens underneath our feet, which we're going to go back into in uh, Second Ezra. Okay, the world was made for our sakes, right? You don't see none of those things which is promised for our kingdom right now, okay? Hey, even our bodies, these, uh, uh, it's like, yeah, these decrepitated bodies, man, and these vile bodies, these bodies got to be changed, man. Because right now the body is breaking down year by year by year, day by day by day, and the kingdom ain't going to be like that. 
Lord said there ain't gonna be no more death. There ain't gonna be no more, uh, 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 you know, anguish and all that. Stress. You know what that does to the body? You know, none of those things, none of those things will exist in the kingdom for us, man. We won't be stressing. We won't be fretting. We won't be doing none of those things. And even the the, the nations, they're gonna be good because it tells me in Psalms, our Proverbs chapter twenty-nine. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, right? When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Ain't no rejoicing right now. You got the MOTV on the way. It's June. Ain't no Michael Jip. <laughs> oh, that nigga eating his words right now. Hey, yeah, I'm going to call him a nigga because he act like one. Shy like one, son. You know? All you guys have royal purple garments. And, and you know you're Israelite. And you call now Christ blessed. This and that. Get the fuck out of here, man. You you a sellout. Okay? Anybody who knows the name of Yahweh, why Yahweh shy? You know, and like Apostle Elder Tahar said, you got to get into the fucking Hebrew, my man. Because this is how people are stumping you out on the highways and byways. You're not getting into the true forms. You're not getting into the speech. You're not getting into the language. Okay? We get into the Hebrew, the true Hebrew, the Lashwan Kodash, not Kadash, Kodash, okay? Like Apostle uh, uh, Slaki, like the Bishop, um, the Elder um, Manat Zakbar. <laughs> hey, you bunch of you brothers out there, I don't know if it's your, if you got a lisp or something, it's, you know, the Lashwan Kodash, okay? When you say it's all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Raka, or some brothers will say Ha, Raka, Quadash, okay? Qua, 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 dash, okay? Quadash. Some people say Kadash, not knowing, you know, because they're saying it fast, but this ain't some mantra that you just speed through. And that's it. You know, this is written in our heart to say, you know, call Halalim Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Arafah Okay? Double honors to the Apostle of the three those that rule well. And peace citation to all the Akim, Luna pushing this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity, worldwide and sincere. Shalom to the elect and, you know, the sincere sisters, you know? That's not some mantra. That's coming from our heart. That's coming with intent. Every time we say it, there's intent behind it. The intent is to give praises to the Heavenly Father first, His Son, uh, through the Holy Spirit, right? And as the scriptures say, to give double honors to those apostles who rule well, who are worthy of their double honors, okay? And to the Akim who's doing this work. Right? In all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. Right? And you have some sincere sisters out there. We don't forget about you sisters. You know? We tell you sis sincere sisters. That's why we say shalom to the sincere sisters. That's good enough for you. Okay? And obviously, yes, to the elect, to the elect, to the elect. The most important thing. Our voice isn't just for the whole house of Israel, but mainly we're trying to draw out the elect so this bitch can get wrapped up and we can have our kingdom. We can have our land. That is the end of the thing. And what's the end of this thing? The end of Esau's kingdom. Okay? When this bitch goes down, it's going to be lovely. And all, like I said, all these nations, they're going to rejoice too. When we're in power, when they actually get to see a real ruler, a real judge, somebody who actually knows how to put it down, man. They're gonna love that. They're gonna wanna kiss our feet, okay? And no, in the kingdom, we ain't gonna be having no Edomites kissing our feet, we're royal. Imagine you put a, a, a fly on gold. Burn the gold, man, you crazy? So in the kingdom, like you got a lot of these guys out here right now, they have a so-called white man or one of them, you know, other nations come and kiss their feet. I don't want you kissing my fucking feet. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You're, you're born as a, as a disgrace. Why the fuck would I have you kiss my fucking feet? You're a disgrace. Okay? 
there are a whole bunch of uh, uh, so-called white men and Chinese and all these other nations, Hamites. Kiss my boot. The bottom of my boot. I don't even want you kissing the bottom of my boot, nigga. You're the lowest forms of beings, all right? Starting with the so-called white man first. Starting with Esau Edom. It tells you that he's the basis of all men, all right? So what the fuck I want him kissing my boot? Uh, kissing the, licking the bottom of my shoe. Even the so-called Chinese or whatever. Any of these nations. The Arab, all of them. I don't want them touching me. I don't want them around me. And in the kingdom, you, you, you best to guarantee, man. Ain't none of that shit happened in the kingdom. You, hey, we were just going to care about you saw lick the bottom of my foot. What kind of freaky nasty shit is that? I've heard people say that too before. And I'm just like, nah, man, you ain't thinking kingly, man. You ain't thinking kingly at all. You thinking you thinking worldly, okay? Those are slaves. Those are our, our things. Those are our things to um, what you will call it to work for us, man. To bust their chops for us, okay? You understand? I had no damn slave touching me. You crazy? Touch the hem of my garment, my gold? No, I burn the gold and burn the slave. All right. So going back into this. This is why we know that this work is so important to us, man. Because we're looking for a, a, a better kingdom, a better world to come. And what are you two thirds looking for? You're looking to hang out with these fucking heathens, man. I don't want to hang out with no damn heathen. For what? Bring disgrace onto my household? Meaning bringing disgrace onto my father's uh, household? You crazy? You how about shim yao shai? You nuts? Hang out, go, go lime up with these heathens. You know, we understand that some of these heathens have the spirit. You know, they uh, they may appear as heathens, but they have the spirit of Israel. We, we understand that, yes. But generally speaking, I'm not going to go out there and go hang out with a bunch of fucking Elam or Moabites. They don't like you. They don't want you around. Okay? So better is the end of a thing, man. Because the beginning that's coming is our kingdom, which is a righteous kingdom. And all these heathens are going to love us, man. They're going to see how a true king really rules, man. It tells you before authority, Syrac, chapter 10, and I think that's 21. Before obtaining authority, right, that one must have the fear of the Lord. Uh, this is 2 Samuel or 1 Samuel, chapter 23 and 3. It tells you that. Um, a just a just king will fear. So let me just get it. I don't want to quote it. You no, know, Second Samuel, chapter. Come on, man. This phone is getting cold. Slacky. Sorry, Akim. It's the coals that's going to my head. Got me bugging out a little bit. No, I'm just joking. I ain't bugging out one bit. Just having some fun. Um, 2 Samuel chapter 23 and 3. The God of Israel said, Yahweh of Israel said, to the, uh, the rock of Israel spake to me, He that ruleth over men must be just. Ruling in the fear of God, and we're going to be those people. Okay, we're the ones who are going to be ruling in the fear of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Not like the rest of this world. The rest of this world, they don't know. Like Pharaoh, Exodus chapter um, five and two, he said, "Who is this Yahweh that I must let Israel go?" Right, and then Yahweh showed him. Say, "Yeah, you, 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 you're gonna know me, just like in um, uh, Isaiah." chapter 2 right it tells you that um the lofty the law the lofty looks of man shall be put out all the lofty looks of man shall be put out and Yahweh Shem Shai shall be exalted alone in that day man okay they're gonna know they're gonna they're gonna realize at the end and right now they're coming to some conclusions that hey the God of uh, uh, of the Hebrews of those Hebrew Israelites what those so-called uh, uh, what they want to say all oh, those black bastards <laughs> You know, what those blur, burly black men are saying out there on the streets is coming to coming to pass, coming true. All right? Now what your ske schemey little uh, pork chop pastors were saying, 
up in that church, none of that shit coming true. Okay? The only thing coming true with that is that they collecting your goddamn money. That that's been a scheme that we that we uh cracked open and showed to y'all. Luke chapter was at 8 and 17. Luke chapter 12 and 2. All those mysteries, all those things are being made aware to the whole world right now. Okay? All the mysteries are being aware, made aware. Okay? Because what? The Lord is, is putting that spirit, going back into second grade, we're gonna get that real quick. The Lord has put that spirit in us, not the rest of the world. The rest of the world know what the world knows. We know what the world knows plus, because the Lord made us to go through that. Made us to know good and evil, okay? Made us to know all those things. Put us through all those things, all right? Sirach tells you that. He tells you that he made us to know good and evil. So we know the difference between good and evil. We went through it. Like I said, the Lord, not just to me, but the Lord did that to many other brothers. All these different gods that we went through, Allah, Buddha, you know, being Hindi or Hindu, you know, I went through all of that, yo. I ain't gonna lie. Malachi, York, dealing with the dark arts, all of that shit. The Lord took my face and dragged me through thoroughly so I may know, again, put me in remembrance, oh Lord. The water for put me in remembrance. All praises due to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Raka Kodash, Salakia. Kwa, Kwa, Kwadash, not Kudash, okay? It's lucky, I thought I said Kudash. But anyways, so the Lord will drag your face through all of that, okay? And at the end, that the Spirit is, is within you, at the end, the Lord will have you stand upon your feet, part that great and exceeding army, okay, to do this work. And now you know better, okay? You know the difference between good and evil, thoroughly. Thoroughly, okay? <laughs> because you done went through it. Your face done been through the mud and stones, all right? The Lord done dragged you under the water, you know, gurgling. Drag your face, metaphorically I'm speaking, drag your face through all that shit, through all that slime, through all those different philosophies of the world, all right? To bring you to this, to the highest, calling in the world you don't think that's good that's excellent okay so going back into this let's get back um, so you can plan you can plan a lesson but the spirit hey I have a lesson planned here you know damn it <laughs> but the spirit will come and go no I want these precepts. I want that. I want that. Matthew chapter 10 and 20. It's not ye that spirit, but the spirit of your father that speaketh in heaven. I'm not lying to you. I have, I have a list here. You know, all these nations got their land and identity. Look, starting off with Deuteronomy 32. I ain't even got to one yet. Deuteronomy 32 is right here. Stuck on, stuck on its post. <laughs> okay. But that, hey, that's the spirit of the Lord. All right. It happens to a lot of our beloved brothers, all right? It happens to Apostle Elder Tahar himself. Elder Tahar will pull out, beloved Elder Tahar, Apostle Elder Tahar will pull out the list, okay? And he'll pull out a big list, and he'll get to the list, like one or two precepts on the list. And the whole time we try to hit the precept, you know, you try to hit the precepts, but it's the spirit. That's to show you that, hey, this is the Lord's movie. This ain't our movie. Okay? Let me check on the camera. Sometimes the camera, you know. So anyways, let's go back into what I wanted here in Corinthians. That was it on uh oh wait let me go back to Corinthians 4 and, and uh close out that portion second Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 18 while we look not at the things which are seen this world right but at the things which are not seen the world to come right for the things which are seen are temporal this world right here 
okay? But the things which are not seen are eternal, which is our kingdom, which is our kingdom which got next, okay? Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is it that is is the next one that's following. Roughly phrasing, slack here. Okay? Let me get the let me get where I was at in second Ezra. Okay. Yeah, let me let me actually read that right here. Second Ezra chapter six and verse nine. For Esau is the end of the world. This world right here, the things that are temporal, okay, the things which are seen, okay. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth our kingdom, okay. That's why it tells us in um. That's why it tells us in um, Isaiah, chapter sixty-two, six and seven. Give him no rest till he establish and make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Okay? Slaki Akim, I gotta get my other glove on. Woo! Slaki, I gotta put that down. Just let my hands warmed up. I should have brought my, um, my daughter actually got me some hand warmers. I should have brought those out. Slaki, one second, Akim. Got another pair of gloves with when that carpal tunnel starts to kick in, it's painful and it's it's irksome, man. It's almost like uh, how do you call it? Uh, um, nails on the chalkboard, as they say. But imagine that inside of your hand. I, I don't know how to. I don't know how to uh, really describe it, but it's like that. Okay shooting pains and anyways let's get back into this when you stand out here this long you know it's for a good cause right preaching the word of your help I'll you outside but shit man this shit damages my body Let's go back into this. I wanted to get the uh, that scripture there, which was going into uh, Second Ezra chapter six and verse uh, fifty-five, fifty-four actually. This one away for a second. It's going to. Ugh, that tastes horrible. All types of shit like that won't be in the kingdom, man. This guy just. Oh, never mind. Second Ezra chapter six and verse uh, fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all all thy creatures, of him come we we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Right. This world was made for our sakes. Okay? But like I was saying earlier, the Lord pushed all our faces through mud, through dirt. Okay? So that we can appreciate the righteousness that we're going to get. All right? Which is of the kingdom. So we had to learn, as they say, we had to learn that evil first before we can appreciate the good in which we're going to get. Because we're going to be able to execute right judgment. Okay? Ye shall be gods, man. Ye are like gods. Ye are gods. But right now we're in these uh, 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 chains of darkness. And in these chains of darkness, we can't execute right judgment, okay? Like the Lord said, the, you know, this flesh, but the Lord said, um, Jeremiah, was at 31 or 32? That he's going to put, write his laws in our hearts. That way we will never be able to go off. That way too, also, the Lord said that 
We're not gonna have to teach every man know ye the law. From the least to the greatest shall know the law. So right now, you know, we're being made uh, uh, proper judges, okay? The Lord is bringing us through that um, fire, okay? Refining us on this side. So that when all this turmoil goes down, the Lord has his chosen, he has his chosen men, his elect. And when all this nonsense, all this madness goes on in this earth, Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6, right? The Lord is going to have his chosen protector. And when all the calamity, the, the, the missile, the button is hit, he's going to have all those righteous judges, those who care for him, right? Are going to be beamed up, elected, right? They're going to be beamed up and saved, sal you know, uh, salvation, right? And they're going to be the proper judges. They're the ones who went through. Lord willing, we be of that number. They're the ones who went through all of the training. Like what you see with uh, Goku and all that shit right there, when Goku's all training and shit. Right now, we're going through our training. Right now, we're being uh, uh, put in that refiner's pot so we can execute proper judgment upon this world, okay? But in this flesh, hey, you, you slip, you all fall short of the glory, right? But we're the ones who are paying attention to what the Lord is saying. We're the ones who are actually doing our training. We're actually taking notes, we're writing them down, we're, you know, getting in the motion of things, right? But the rest of the world ain't doing that. They, they in the world, they love the world, they're part of that world. Right? But unto us in the kingdom, Lord willing that we be of that number, we're the ones who are going to be sitting on those seats, judging, you know, the 12 tribes of Israel. Right? And we see that's a high calling. All right? That's better than anything here on this world, man. This is why it tells you in um, Wisdom of Solomon that. I think it's Wisdom of Solomon That all The gold in the world Is nothing but like Little sand to her man And all the silver in the world Is nothing but like clay Onto her Okay It's even worse Clay Shit So imagine what we have Aki Okay What we have is, is And some brothers want to walk away from this You're a dumbass man you get weak, like the brothers say, pray, pray. The, 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 the flesh is, is, is weak, man. You have to understand that. But the spirit, the spirit is willing. The spirit got that strength. When you're going through a situation, stop looking at it so, taking it so damn personal, man. Because there's other brothers out there going through the same thing, too. Look at me. I got to go work on my car in the cold. I got to get, jack my car up. And somehow get the fuck underneath it to go fuck with the alternator and shit. And fuck around with a bunch of wires and shit. Okay? So stop taking... Stop taking the chastening so personal. Okay? Stop taking the chastening so damn personal. Stop being emotional with the chastening of what the Lord has given you, man. We've had earthly, fleshly fathers, as it tells us in Hebrews, who's chastening us, right? And what, for their own pleasures, meaning their own, you know, uh, uh, they see it fit, right? But the Most High is giving you chastening, man. Realize that. That means that he, in his eyes, he, he, you're special to him, man. Okay? Because it tells you, the ones who don't catch the chastening, they're as bastards to the Most High. It's a lot here. There's bastards to the most high. Okay? And we're catching the chastity. And we know why we're catching this chastity. We know we sinned. We know we went against the Lord in our past lives. Okay? We know we've done things against you. How about Shimei in Shalom. our past life. Yeah, Shalom. I know how we say Shalom just keep on walking or whatever. Like I said, we know how important this is. That's why he kept on walking. But... 
We know in our past lives we did things against you. How about Shim Yon Shai? That's why we're feeling it. That's why we're going through what we're going through. We're paying for our, our, our wages, our, our sins, man. We're paying for our iniquity of our past lives, right? So we understand that. We understand what we're going through. Do we rebuke the Lord and say, to hell with this. This, No, we take it as a spoonful, man. And we don't take it personal, okay? Taking that... Taking that... Uh, 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 taking that... Um, hit personal from the Lord it's not right okay how dare you numerous things you've done to offend the Lord in your life in your past life so on and so forth so taking a hit like that and then feeling all personal about it that's not right that's not the right attitude to be in that's when you know Satan is trying to sift your ass okay trying to pull you down that's why this, the, 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 the scriptures tell you to pray, man. Pray, pray, pray. The flesh is weak, but the spirit is willing, man. And we can see this. This is why Luke chapter 22, what is that, 30 and 31, it tells you that uh, Satan has desired to sift you, Peter. Okay, but I pray for you. And when you're come, um, and when you're, uh, basically, when you're overcome with this, okay, when you're strengthened, go and strengthen your own brethren. Go and strengthen your brethren, okay? So the same thing what's been done to us, we go and do for the brothers. That's why we say we don't take this personal, man. Because we know, hey, the Lord can just say, you know what, fuck you guys, man. That's it. Like, uh, Exodus chapter 32, the Lord could have just done away with us. Every time I read about that, I'm just like, wow. You see how humble Moses was, man? Moses besought the Lord and said, no, 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 Lord. Please, 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 please. Moses could say, yeah, you know what? I'm going to step back, yo. Do it. Do it. I'm going to go get myself some different women of this nation and that way. I'm going to pop them all up. They're all going to be my, you know? I'm going to be wearing that king hat to the side. Moses could have said that, but he didn't. He pleaded for y'all, you ungrateful bastards, okay? Just like in a form of what we're doing right here, right now. But at the same time, we see the importance and we're saying, you know what? We read what it said in Jeremiah chapter 7. No prayer, don't make intercession for these people at all. And this time, no, 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 no. Pray for their death, man. <laughs> but at the same time, that's the, hey, that's, uh, you know, that's, uh, um, that's mercy on y'all, you know? And the Lord keep you going through, you're just gonna keep fucking up, fucking up, fucking up, and then fuck up some other people, and fuck up some other people. You're just gonna keep doing more wickedness and more wickedness. That means that your tag is gonna be higher and higher and higher. And the Lord take your ass out, that's it. That's, that's mercy on your ass, man. Honestly, okay? And honestly, too, you ain't gotta deal with all the stress, you ain't gotta deal with all the crap here. So the Lord take one of you two thirds out, you lucky. Okay? <laughs> you're lucky because now you don't got to deal with the stress and now you ain't plaguing the world with more wickedness and you ain't plaguing yourself with wickedness. You know? You got to have a, 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 a righteous eye to see that. But anyways, let's go back into this. Verse 56, For as the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. And this is also written in Isaiah but to be likened unto spittle and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel and now O Lord behold these heathen which have ever been reputed as nothing have begun to be lords over us and to devour us yeah this is what this is what happens it tells us in group that the Lord is going to put these nations over us because we did wickedness on them because we provoked them to anger. We sacrificed unto God, uh, unto idols and not unto God, unto our power, okay? So this is why we're going through these afflictions, you know? Our power put us here to do righteous and to follow righteousness and to be righteous, okay? Simple things, but you know, Jake said, no, fuck this. I'm gonna go follow the other people. I'm gonna go follow these fucking, uh, Psalms 106 and 35, they're mingled among the heathen, learn their works, right? 
and serve their idols which were a snare and a trap onto them. Okay? Our people are still doing that up to today. This is why the Lord said in Jeremiah chapter, uh, I think that's 7 and 16, pray not for them. See not what they do in the streets of Jerusalem. Okay? How the, how the men gather wood. How the men uh, kindle a fire and children gather wood. And, and the women neither dough to make cakes to the, to the queen of heaven. That's still sh that shit still happening up to today. That's why we tell you right now, it's still biblical times right now. Just because they change a whole bunch of things like imagery, okay? Just because they change the imagery of things, it is still biblical times, you jackass. Just because they put a whole bunch of new giddy gadgets out, a whole bunch of electronic shit out, it is still biblical times, motherfucker. And what do I mean by that? We're still in the same, we're still on that same line of time. All right? You can say shit done changed up, but we're still on the Lord's time, motherfucker. <laughs> All right? Verse 58, but we thy people whom thou has called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, and thy fervent lover are given into their hands. Yeah, because of the wickedness that we want to do. We want to fucking go link up with them instead of linking up with our power. Jeremiah chapter 2 and 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love, man? Seek love from somebody else that that, ain't, that, that the Lord said ain't nothing. You ain't shit. That, that thing ain't spit, man. Ain't <laughs> My spit I just released, it's lower than that. Right? And here it is, you like a jackrabbit. Want to be up in everything quick, right? Over there. Uh, listen to the, to, to the lips of the flattering woman, man. The strange woman. Commit adultery onto your power. Of course you should be destroyed. Of course you should be taken down. Of course you should learn a lesson. And this is what the Lord has done to us. Made us learn a fucking lesson. The hard way. So we can appreciate what we're gonna get. Alright? Bottom fucking line, man. And that's the Apa. That's righteous. Because a father... Of intelligence, a father of wisdom, a father who fears Yahweh Hashem Yahshai would do that to his seed. He would put him through a lesson, so he learns a lesson. You ever heard that? Learn a lesson, son. When you learn those lessons, they become valuable to you. They become more precious than fine gold itself. And all silver is counted as clay. <laughs> oh shit! It kicks in. And all silver is counted as clay in comparison to that wisdom that you have learned, that lesson, okay? All gold is counted as nothing because with the lesson, you can get all that gold. It tells you that Wisdom of Solomon too as well. It tells you that in Syrac, okay? We're going back into this. Verse 59, If the world now be made for our sakes, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? How long shall this endure? And that's right. That's how, That's what we're screaming out. How long? How long? But we know, hey, patiently wait on Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Call Halal Yom Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Bashim Rakako Dash. It's a chair. Disappeared. Disappeared, man. Still there? It's like blinking in and out. Call Halal Yom Yahweh Bashim Yahshai Bashim Rakako Dash, man. See, the Lord will show his chariots and it'll come up bright and then all of a sudden it'll just go zzz, like fizzle out and then all of a sudden it starts blinking. Deep, 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 deep. Oh, hello, you me how about shim, you shy about shim, my top of dash, man. So yeah, the reason why we don't possess the uh, 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 inheritance with it now is because the wicked are above us. Filth is the boat. We're going to need that cleaning and that, uh, cleaning agent to sweep this bitch, okay? And then we're gonna possess it, okay? But first we gotta go through what we gotta go through, which is all this fucking, uh, which is all this calamity, all this melee, all this bullshit, okay? So we're gonna have to uh, 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 go through all this wickedness to appreciate what you're gonna get. Just like a, a father sending a son through a lesson, he's gotta appreciate all those lessons, you gotta uh, slack it. He's gotta, um, he's gonna appreciate what he gets at the end, going through all those lessons. Okay. 
because he's going to understand the weightiness of what he has at the end of the year and day and week. What value is holding from going through those lessons, what value it is to hold what it is, man. Okay? Because a lot of these guys out here, they just get some, receive it. That's why, how do you think these rich kids are, man? These rich kids don't give a shit about nothing. Yeah, exactly, look at them. They don't give a shit about nothing. They, they, their mommy give them a car, right? Boom, crash it up. They get a little gold brace or whatever, they lose it. If you had to work your ass off for that car, that bracelet, you would appreciate it more. You put more insight into how you are treating it. And two-thirds don't have that insight. This is why, going back into us, we appreciate this truth. But the rest of this world, they don't have it, okay? It's not in them. We appreciate this truth. This truth is, is, is precious, man. It tells you in 2 Corinthians, which I was going to read, that the Lord has given it by His Spirit to our spirit. And it also tells you that None of the princes of this world knew. For if they had known, they wouldn't have uh, uh, crucified our Lord and Savior. And our, our, our speech didn't come with no enticing words and excellence of speech and all that. We didn't go to no cemetery school to gain this up. The Lord put it in our spirit, man, and that was it. Okay? That's to show you that this is a spiritual work. This is a, you know, we come... We come here, here in the demonstration of the spirit, man. In the demonstration of Yahweh, okay? The power of Yahweh, the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Look at that. He took us down, stripped us, Jeremiah chapter 17 and 4, stripped us bare. We don't even know who we were. Remember? Toby, my name is Toby. All right? Stripped us bare, brought us back over here, and said that. I'm gonna put you in remembrance, man. I'm gonna wake up my men, and all them elites, they're gonna fall in fear and seeing you men rise up. That great and exceeding army upon their feet. And fear fell upon them that saw them, man. There's a reason fear fell upon them because they knew dealing with their, you know, devil ship and all of that, the left hand side of things, right? He saw Edom. He knows. This is why the scriptures tell us that they consulted together to cut us off from being a nation, right? They didn't want us to know who we are because when they know that we know who we are, our power is for us. And when our power is for us, who can be against us, man? So, hey, man, all these nations, they got their land, but, you know, Jake, don't worry. We're we going to get back our land, okay? Yeah, how about Shimei Oshai has promised us that? You know, we're going to get back our land. So, hey, man, let me uh, wrap things up here. You know, I hope this camp lesson was edifying. I hope it, you know. Oh, it's lucky. I hope it was edifying. Bro, I hope it brought light to some, some minds. You know, the, the, the um, sincere and honest brothers you know the truthful brothers hope it brought some light to them and hey as it tells you in the scriptures you know a righteous man will hear these words you know you'll commend it and add on to it a wise man will hear these words a skillful man Salaki, will hear these words and add on to it right commend it and add on to it so hey i'm only speaking for the elect to be drawn out and i'm only speaking you know we're only sending video pistols back and forth to each other but also these epistles are for the elect to hear for the elect to hear and to be drawn out and also come and do this work too as well if a skillful man hears his wise words he'll do what let's get it real quick and i'm gonna end out on that i am what they call frozen but actually to tell you the truth it's not all that bad over here I mean, the Lord has conditioned us over the years for this type of uh, environment, right? I mean, as a kid, you wanted to go outside, right? Let me let me put this back to that world shit again. As a kid, you wanted to go outside and run around, 
and toy around and have fun with the world and in the world and all this stuff, right? But when it comes to doing this serious work, all of a sudden now it's uh, as a complaint or an excuse or something. Come on, man, that ain't right. You know, that ain't right. So we have fun when we come do this work, man. When we come do this work, we don't feel like, oh, shit, I got to straight to do this work. No, we love doing this work. When we're reading the scriptures, we love going into the different translations. I love that. That Hey, man, that excites me. Going into the NLT, CSB, you know, the NIV. Because you, you're waiting to see what the author has written and put it in to form, you know, other words easily to be understood to this uh, society. So when you say, you know, the Lord is going to kill, or let's say it like this, the Lord maketh alive and bringeth down. And then in another translation, it says, the Lord will kill you and he will smack, you know what I mean? Like, it gives you even more juice to it. And it's lovely. For us, brothers, we love that, you know? Because for us, it's exciting, you know? The rest of these junkies in the world, they don't care. They don't care nothing about the Bible. They'll spin on the Bible, you know? They don't give a shit, right? Because they're junkies of the world. They care what's in the world, right? But we care what's written here in this Bible. So going back into this, I'm going to get this and close out. It goes into a skillful man hearing this wise word, right? Um, Sirach chapter 21 and verse 15 if a skillful man hear a wise word you'll commend it and add on to it that's why we're sending out these video epistles to these brothers when they hear it they like it they say yeah let me add on to that man i can add on to that a skillful man a wise a wise man okay one who's been trained in this word through the spirit of yahweh not these guys who equate themselves in the world to have skill they don't have no damn skill Okay, going back into this, if a skillful man hear a wise words, which words we are speaking of the Bible, wise words, okay, he will add, he will commend it, and that's what we do. We commend the brothers, we, we, we salute them, you know what I mean? Because it's very wise in what they're doing, very wise in what they're saying, you know? And we commend it. We, give, we salute the brothers, you know? We salute them. It's you know? here. Going back into this. Uh, verse 15. Commend it and add on to it. Okay? And this is us adding on. When a brother makes a lesson out there, we we're like, hey man, no, I know I can add on to that. Let me, let me, uh, oh, the brother so and so from Dallas made this video. So this is a read, this is a response to that video. I'm gonna add on to it. There's a couple things that I noted that I wanted to add in here. You know, that's the brother, you know, put more, uh, uh, like the scriptures say, commended it and added on to it, man, okay? It's like seeing a beautiful artwork and then a brother says, you know what? Let me take this artwork and I'm gonna draw section onto it too. He commended it and he added on to it and then the brother said, oh, yeah, pa, brother, that, that's beautiful, yo. Here it is, I started out this canvas, but you added on to it even more. And then another brother does it, and another brother, and then another brother. And then it becomes a whole big world, right? And you'd be like, oh, wow, look at all this beautiful art, man. Wow. You know? And that's what we're doing. When we're out here singing, there's another brother singing and another brother singing and another brother singing. And the angels are there around and they're boom, bringing it up to the most high, bam, coming back down. It's a sweet, savory smell to the most high, okay? Because we're making our bodies a living sacrifice out here. We're coming with the voice of thanksgiving, right? We're coming with the voice of sacrifice, right? The voice of thanksgiving. And who are we giving thanks onto? Yahweh Shimei Oshai. We're not giving thanks onto these other gods and nothing like that. We're giving praises and glory and honor onto the Heavenly Father and His Son. So going back into this, uh, but as soon as one of no understanding heareth it, that's these people in the world, right? They have no understanding. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what's up. They've been deprived of wisdom. 
And it says the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom at any time. So they think they got something, but they ain't got shit. Anyways, so going back into this. But as soon as one of no understanding heareth it, it displeaseth him, and he casts it behind his back. Right. And that's so simple. That's like these two thirds out here, man. They got no understanding of what, what's being said to them. It displeases them. They say, oh, you know what, man, to hell with that. We don't got to do that. Uh, what was that? Ezekiel 33 and 17. You know? That's their mindset. The way of the Lord is not equal. But the Lord said, yo, your way is not equal. You're the whole bomb mode. So with that, Akio, we uh, get ready to close out here. All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakhakudash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim worldwide. Doing and push this word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. And a sincere shalom to the sisters who are actually sincere and do follow along. Okay? I hope you brothers were edified. Lord willing to the next time. Wa a bad babal. Shalom Akim. Shalom. It's it's frozen time out here, man. Woo. I am I am in froze mode, Akim. <laughs> I'm trying to get my shit ready here so I can go. Still up here. My gloves off here. Can't even feel my fingers. Can't even feel my fingers. What, you see? Shit, man. I ain't even turn it off. It's... All right, hold up. Let's see if I can do it now. Alright, there we go. Shalom, Akim.